What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and today we're back on some Ark Survival Evolved for How to Tame. This is a series where I go through every single attainable creature on Ark Survival Evolved and tell you how to tame them, the best way to tame them, the food you need, all the information that you need to tame a certain creature on Ark. But first, just a small disclaimer, mortals, I am on a boosted server, everything you see is going to be boosted, so the taming is going to be a lot faster than it would be if you're on like an official server or any other type of server, if it hasn't matched my server. But every piece of information and action I do will help you tame uh, any type of creature in any type of server, so keep that in mind. I am going to be taming this a lot quicker than you will. But with that out of the way, let's get on to what we're actually going to be taming today. So, the thing we're going to be taming today is a very, very dangerous creature. It's rather large, one of the largest in the game, and it's very, very, very dangerous. And even though this is a very dangerous dinosaur, it is a passive tame. Yes, a passive tame. So this is a dinosaur that we're going to be taming. So, yeah. I've actually spawned this one in. I did not spawn it in as a 150. This is just a random spawn. It could spawn at any level. And it turned out to be a 150. So this is going to be a bit harder uh, to tame. Um, but I'm going to show you the mechanic they introduced just to tame this guy so he's already on a rampage so the first thing you're going to need mortals you're going to need some kind of trap when I mean trap some kind of trap pen a bit like this so it's nothing fancy at all it's really easy to build so as you can see here if we go up We've got uh, four foundations by three foundations, and then we've got just doorways going up three high, at least three high malls, uh, and some, just some ramps on one side so we can lead the dino into it. This dino has to be trapped in order to tame it, so keep that in mind. It has to be trapped, because if it gets attacked by any other creature, it will just you can't tame it basically it just gets distracted all the time and you cannot let it get distracted that is why you have to trap it so let's go and get the aggro of this guy and try and lead him into this trap that I have got so once you've got his aggro we're just going to lead him into the pen so make sure he runs up the ramps and then you can just run out the other side. Okay, this guy didn't want to quite go in, but we can try and angle him in right in here. There we go. So now he is stuck in this trap. Once you have got him stuck in this trap, what you now have to do, you need to go out into the wide, wild world and you need to kill creatures, uh, dinos, animals, whatever. The larger, the better. Kill the creatures, drag the body near to where uh, the Karcha is trapped. So, I've actually got a body already over here. I don't know if this would count, but I'm going to drag the body. Now, obviously, the bigger the body, it's going to be harder to move. And all you can't really see much on my screen at the moment. So, what we've got to do, we've got to get this really close. And when I mean really close, we've got to get it, like, in the pen. Because if you try and put it outside the walls, he won't be a they won't be able to get access to it. So, he has to consume the body. See, once he's actually consumed the body and there's no body left, you'll get that, like, indicator above it. That, this is how much that this dino trusts you. Now, because that was such a large body, it's give us a lot of trust. So what we need to do now, we need to go and get another body. And I don't know if I saw one down here. Yeah, right there. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to drag it up to it. So as you can see, his thing has gone down. 
We're going to release the body so it goes in. He should eventually eat it. Don't get too close. Otherwise, he will aggro. Well, I keep saying he. Uh, it will aggro onto you, and you don't want that. That means it's distracted, and it will not eat the body. So, as you can see, the taming... The, well, its trust in you is already going down. So, I'd just advise you to get, like, multiple bodies and just bring it to you. So once it has eaten its fill of bodies, the thing will turn green. This means you have a limited amount of time to ride this guy. So what we're going to do, we're just going to break out of this pen right now. So I'm just going to demolish this and this. Now we can hop on. We can actually ride it without a saddle. Now we need to go and kill other dinosaurs with this guy and you will see the tame the tame bar go up so we've got a carno over here we can try and kill this guy and as you can see we've killed it and the taming meter has gone up to 13.3 and we're just going to keep continually killing dinos so be also be careful if he takes damage obviously the efficiency will go down we just killed something else and we just killed that right there the mammoth and boom we have tamed the car cha that is how it reasonably easy it is as soon as you've tamed it though it will kick you off and you cannot ride it again so it is reasonably straightforward build the trap trap it in it bring it dead body so it can consume it wait for the symbol above it to turn green it means it's ate its fill and then you can ride it and then you have to go out and kill creatures with it in order to actually tame it so somewhat easy <laughs> but mortals that is it that is how you can tame one of these giant massive guys i hope you enjoyed i hope this has helped you out and i'll hopefully see you mortals in the next video